Hey guys, and welcome back to the Board Game Bar. This week we are playing Cafe, and so to go with that, we thought we'd go for a classic coffee cocktail, the Espresso Martini, as we build up our coffee empires. You're strong. You're strong. Pretty common one, so I think most people will know how to make it, but we'll run through a few things you can do to make it a little bit more exciting. First off, we're starting off with vodka. We've got a vanilla vodka. Vanilla and coffee, great combination. If you just got normal vodka, that'll work perfectly fine as well. I'm gonna get one shot of that. So it's all just equal parts, nice and easy. Next, we're gonna get our coffee liqueur. We're using Kahlua. If you want to make your espresso martini a bit sweeter, or if you're using a less sweet coffee liqueur, then you can add some sugar syrup here as well. We're not going to. And lastly, we're getting some cold drip coffee. Cold drip's great because you can just sort of keep it. If you've got an espresso machine and want to use fresh espresso, that works too. Or if you want to use instant coffee, that's your loss, but it'll, it'll still work. It'll do the trick. And we're just going to go in with one shot of that as well. And that's all the ingredients we need for this. So it's a nice, quick, easy one. And we've got our shaker, about three quarters full of ice. Just gonna pour this in. And then we're just gonna shake. And there we go. Now I'm sure you guys will have seen the espresso martinis that have that big frothy bit on top. So if you wanna help that, we can do what's called a reverse dry shake. So we're gonna get our strainer. We're going to pour this and keep it in our shaker. And you see there, it's a little bit frothy, but if we want to get it a bit more, then we can actually get rid of this ice, and then we'll do a dry shake and shake it without the ice, and that'll really help build up the froth, and then we'll get a nice looking drink in our glass. All right, so I just got rid of the ice, and then we're going to go in. Really quick shake, really focusing on that back and forth to incorporate as much air as we can. And there we go. See, it's a lot more frothy now. You can hear the bubbles. I'm gonna get our coupe. This is a great glass for an espresso martini. Anything that's got any sort of froth, coupes are great, martini glasses, whatever you've got works. And we're just gonna use a fine strainer just to make sure there's no ice in there. And you see, we'll get that nice froth for our garnish, classic, three coffee beans. I'm just going to Drop them in, try and make a bit of a pattern with it. And there we go, that is our espresso martini. So let's get to tasting. And now we've just changed our Rooney because one Rooney doesn't like coffee. And the other one is known as coffee queen, so it just makes sense. So let's give this a taste. Now, it's gonna be coffee and we can state the obvious before I drink it, but. Which means it's automatically delicious. Ooh. So yeah, very heavy on the coffee. We are using a local um, nitro cold drip coffee, which is very, very rich and it's not sweet. So it's actually, so if you want more, yeah, actually. You, you get less of that, that, that sweetness. So the coffee you use is definitely going to be uh, a big player in this game. Um, obviously, we are also using Kahlua. If you were to use something like Mr. Black, you're going to have a lot less sweetness, which you can just add back in if you wanted to. But I think playing around with the different flavors and, and Dan will definitely chime in if he, if he thought any differently. Yes. Um, we also use the uh, vanilla vodka just to add that little bit of vanilla kick to it as well, but a standard vodka. The vanilla can... vodka is a great choice Yeah. for a bit of extra flavor. And what are you tasting? Uh, like I said, it's, it's very strong coffee. So if you don't like coffee, not for you, but delicious. Like there's almost that chocolatey, I don't know where that comes from. Is that the Kahlua? I would imagine you'd get a bit of the coffee from the actual coffee beans themselves. So coffee has a lot of chocolatey notes in there, depending um, how they've actually done the press. So we'd get a lot more coffee in this one than you might get in your one at home. Um, but yeah, the chocolatey notes are definitely coming from the bean, I would imagine. Mm, it's quite smooth. Thanks for joining us on the Board Game Bar, and we'll actually be able to watch us play this game live on Twitch. We'll also be adding that as a VOD for you to watch at any time once we've played it. Um, and we also have the Teach, which we actually go through how to play a cafe. So make sure you make your own espresso martini and join us at the table when we play cafe. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.